Hello everyone, my name is Andrew Joy and I would like to share the story of Joseph. He is a biblical figure in the Bible. From a literary point of view, it is the link between the Sester stories and the Egypt experience. The story of Joseph begins in the book of Genesis in the Bible. Joseph was a young man of 17. He had 11 brothers, who had a lot of brothers. His father loved him more than any of his other brothers because he had been born to his father in his old age and he's made a beautiful coat for him. When his brothers saw that their father loved him more than any of them, they hated Joseph. But why? It's because they were jealous of him. But there was also another reason why they hated him. Joseph had two dreams. In the first dream, he and his brothers were binding sheaves of corn when his brother's sheep bowed down to his sheep. In the second dream, the sun and moon and eleven stars all bowed down to Joseph. He then told his family and the brothers thought he intended to rule over them and they hated him even more. One day, Joseph's father told him to go find his brothers who were working in the fields and see if all was well. So Joseph visits his brothers out in the fields. They hated him so much that his brothers just want to get rid of him. They conspired to kill him. But there was one brother whose name was Reuben who did not like the idea and suggested that they just throw him down in a pit. But what will the brothers tell their father? They killed a goat and dipped Joseph's coat into the goat's blood. Then they took the coat home to their father and said that they found the coat covered in blood. A wild animal must have killed Joseph, his father cries. And that was just what Joseph's brother wanted their father to think. Their father was devastated. He weeps for many days. But Joseph is not dead. Let's see what happens to him and where he is taken. So unfortunately, a band of traders passed by and the brothers changed the plan. They sold him as a slave. With more twists of the plot, he is sold to a rich Egyptian. The rich Egyptian's wife repeatedly tries to seduce him. When her attempts fail, she accuses Joseph of rape, which lands him in prison. So Joseph spends in jail for many, many years. Joseph's former butler and his former baker both dream symbolic dreams, and Joseph's skills as a dream interpreter are put to use. He predicts that the butler will be discharged in three days and restored to Pharaoh's service, and that the baker will be put to death. So Joseph's interpretations came true. He asked the butler to remember him once he's back in Pharaoh's service, but the butler doesn't fulfill his promise. Until two full years later, Pharaoh himself has a series of disturbing dreams that no one in Egypt can understand. These dreams prove to be Joseph's ultimate turn of luck. He is brought to the court to interpret Two famous dreams of Pharaoh, one in which seven sickly cows consume seven healthy cows, and a parallel dream in which seven sickly years of grain consume seven large years of grain. Joseph hears them and forecasts them seven years of plenty followed by seven years of famine. He recommends a plan to collect grain and store it for the lean years. Pharaoh then puts Joseph in charge, and his plan works perfectly. Years later, Joseph's brother arrived in Egypt in search of food because there is a famine in his hometown. Joseph recognizes his brothers, but they do not recognize him. Joseph has become an expert in human relations. He skillfully manipulates his brothers until his father sends all 11 brothers to Egypt. Finally, he reveals himself to his brothers, much hugging and crying, as you expect. The brothers are fearful of what comes next. 
This kid that they sold into slavery has now become the second most powerful man in their world. But Joseph tells them not to be distressed or reproach themselves because they sold Joseph here. And he also tells them that it was to save life that God sent him them, sent him over them. And never again does Joseph refer to his brother's plan to murder him. What a good brother, right? In the end, Joseph met his father. That's about it. I hope all of you enjoyed it and thank you for listening. The end.